Hi, this is Kiri from Kiri Made, and I'm doing a series of videos to introduce non-weavers to weaving. This week we're going to talk about different types of looms. So as I mentioned last week, the main function of a loom is to hold the warp, which are the threads that run this way, under tension. And looms can be very, very simple. So as an example, I actually made this little cardboard loom. So it's literally just a piece of cardboard, and then I put some uh, yarn on as the warp. And then to put my weft across, I actually have to weave it in by hand with a tapestry needle, which takes some time, but as you can see, I can weave on it. So the cardboard loom performs the main function of a loom, which is to hold the warp under tension. But in order to start to weave faster, you have to find different ways of lifting the threads up and down to be able to uh, more quickly put in your wefts. So this is a rigid heddle loom. And that means that it has a heddle here that has slots and holes, and then I can uh, put my warp threads through those. And in doing that, I can easily create two different sheds. So there's one shed, which lifts up some of my threads, and then I can put my weft across, and I actually have a second shed, and that allows me to weave plain weave. And as you can see, that goes much faster than my little cardboard loom. Once we move away from the rigid heddle looms, you start to go to looms that have multiple shafts. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to weave more complicated patterns because I can um, choose which threads I'm lifting up and down, which is what we call making a shed. So on this floor loom, I have my sheds here and then my treadles are actually on the floor, which allows my hands to be free to throw the weft. So you can see that we, we we're able to weave much faster on a floor loom as we get, um, as we use our feet to lift the shafts. So looms can be um, even more complicated than this. So today there's actually looms that are controlled by a computer and you could have up to, you know, like 50 shafts and you can create very complicated patterns. But the loom is still doing the same basic thing in that it holds the warp under tension and it lets you lift threads up and down, which we call creating a shed. If you're interested in learning more about different types of looms, you can check out my blog, kirimade.com.